Hey everybody, it's go time here at the, uh, every Tuesday, take a look around at the design studio and go, whoa, let's give it a halt and let's come out here and do a Facebook Live. I am also going to also, at the same time, try to do a, a an Instagram Live. So hold on for a second while I take a look. Oh, I think I screwed up the whole thing, Katie. I screwed up the whole thing. I tell you what, you know, you, you put me in charge of anything technical and it's just not a good, it's just not a good thing. Hang on. We're going to try to go live again on Instagram. Hold on, guys. Thank you for working with me. da da ba bang No, we don't want to do that. No, mm, not working. Okay, next week, <laughs> we have it all secured up here, too. Katie, make sure I didn't just post the weirdest picture of myself on Instagram Live. Guys, I promise every Facebook Live is not going to be like this. Oh, good grief. Well, there you go. Try something new. Put it in my hands and kaboom. I still have vacation brain. It's so good to be here with you for this Facebook Live every Tuesday, Eastern, 4 p.m. We stop what we're doing here at the design studio and we hop out there to your home or your office so that we can take a look at how to support you in design. I get so many questions on artwork after that totally spastic start. Sorry about that. But I, I'm going to be taking your questions on artwork today. I get so many questions about size and what goes with what and how much money should I expect to spend and how do I make those great statements with art if I don't have a, a huge budget and how do you designers do it and blah, 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 blah. All great questions. So if you have a question about artwork, I definitely want you to scooch it in. And now I want to give you a little mini lesson on how to make your spaces like blow away gorgeous with the artwork. No, you don't need to have a trust fund behind you, but you do need to appropriate certain dollars toward your artwork. And you also have to do a lot with budget and um, design strategy. And pardon me for keeping this piece of gum in my mouth, but I still have this wacky, weird cough that has followed me through my time off my vacation. It's still with me. So anyway, so when it comes to finding the right artwork, the first thing you need to know is that most people forget to appropriate any budget for art and accessories. And your artwork is part of your accessory story. You have to, have to, have to leave money in the budget for that. And no, it's not a hundred bucks. You know, go to a flea market and you'll see what you can get for a hundred bucks. You can get an empty frame or you can get uh, a very small piece of something, but that small piece of something isn't going to make a big splash in your living room, in your dining room, in your home office, is it? Stop buying those little teeny pieces. Those little teeny pieces, 12 by 20, 12 by 12, 18 by 18, they look good. You know, the little bitty guys look good on a shelf, not hanging on a wall. So when you want to make great statements with your art in a space, you need to first and foremost consider proportion. That's a place where so many design lovers who are super talented fall off the bike, okay? So you want your artwork to be proportional to the thing it's sitting above or next to. Or you need it to be proportional to that empty space on the wall that you're trying to fill in open concept. We've talked about this before on open concept. Very often there is this long wall that is kind of this no man's land between zones. Sometimes you want to throw some weight there. So you need some good, a good sized piece of art or a duo of things or a, a, a triptych, three items that kind of work together. So proportion is one thing you've got to pay attention to. Appropriating budget, I'm starting to say, you have to make sure when you're putting together your full line item budget for your project, think about what the art line item is going to be. Think about it. You go to home goods and you see a piece, you know, $79 for something, you know, in that small to mid size, but the larger piece is definitely going to be over uh, in that high 100s to the $200 mark. I just picked up for the office, which you can't see. It's right behind you, behind where I'm looking at you. A really cool piece of pop art from a, a really cool New York City street artist. The canvas was about 380, but framing it, the way I wanted to frame it, I could have gone in the lower cost frame for about another 300, but I like the nicer frame. Don't we design lovers always do that? And it added another 450 to the total cost of the piece. So does it make the office studio here when you walk into my office? You bet it does, but it's not a little $50 something. So with artwork that you're loving 
on house, on those house rooms, the Instagram rooms, the Pinterest rooms, the rooms in the design magazines. That artwork was not found in home goods or at a flea market, not little, and it wasn't a hundred bucks. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna need to put some.